Friday, so it's July 15, uh, 2017. Um, well, this is the day where we're going to gel coat the hull. We're all prepared. It's been uh, pretty much about 10 months building up to this moment. So uh, we've got in here pretty much all the gear ready, ready to go, our resins, all of our cloth, everything there. Basically uh, a hoard of composite material ready to lay up this uh, this this big hole. We've got our Samo on the job here today. Ready to go, buddy? Mm -hmm. Bit of a busy morning, eh? We've got Johnny on the job. You all right, buddy? Done. You're all set up, mate? Done. Looking good? We're all set up? Easy. Looking pretty clean. Okay, this is it. Last time we're going to see this bastard red for about six months. It was right about now that we discovered that the night before I'd coiled up the 13 metre uh, gel coat hose on a tarpaulin on the floor of the bridge deck and uh, the catalyst had siphoned down onto the bridge deck and into the channel, uh, the strengthening channel there. So around about two litres of uh, Norox uh, MEKP had uh, ended up on the bridge deck. And um, yeah, that wasn't pretty uh, at all. We spent probably another two hours cleaning up that mess and uh, re-waxing, re-polishing all the areas that were there. Luckily it was in the channel and uh, we were able to get started pretty soon. It, um, it was a faulty joint that I hadn't tightened quite uh, properly on the uh, extension hose that we put on to do the full size bridge deck. And uh, we were very, very lucky that uh, it hadn't gone down into the hull. So off we went. So it's interesting to note a couple of facts for the day. We started with 170 kilos of uh, performance white gel coat from Allnex Australia. It was catalyzed at 1.6%. So that's a, a pretty reasonable catalyst for the humidity of around about 65% that we had. Um, it had actually gelled in about 25 minutes and, uh, and fully gone off in about four hours. We did actually start laminating just around about eight hours after uh, the finishing the gel coat so it was a good good schedule 
um, the laminating will be on the next video and uh, you'll see us uh, putting down our tire layer of 300 chop strand matting just basically to tie it onto the onto the mould. Um, we didn't really have any major issues other than our catalyst at the beginning of the day. Um, these things uh, are set to sort of um, uh, annoy you but you really need to deal with them and problem solve very quickly because there's no uh, there's no stopping once you get started. We did complete that gel, gel coat session in one sitting of around eight and a half hours so it was a pretty epic day um, very very interesting to um, to do something of that size and I've never done anything of that size before um, but uh, it all went very smoothly and thanks to the help of the guys that uh, that actually assisted me the next day uh, we uh, will head into the laminating schedule and hopefully you'll uh, join me on life on the mold After the big gel coating day, we had a couple of uh, couple of issues. I mean, it looks absolutely bloody amazing, to be honest. Um, I've had uh, you know a pretty successful spray up. We've had a few uh, issues. We had uh, one leaking uh, joint on one of our catalyst hoses, which wasn't great from the great start. But you know, this is what happens. You just got to check, double check, double check, and I, I don't think I could have been more prepared. And you know, to be honest, um, if this is as bad as it gets. Um, I'm absolutely stoked. Um, this has been a, probably a, a nine hour spray up, so it was a monster. Three of us, uh, John feeding resin into the pump, Sam, my son, uh, passing the hose and controlling the hose so I didn't drape from the gel coat, but uh, I think you'll agree. Looking uh, very, 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 very good. Very, very happy. Uh, one relieved um, boat builder here. Given it's my first uh, giant canoe, I think uh, I think I've got to be pretty happy with that. 